معي كمان اي 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 السلام عليكم السلام عليكم بليز تيك يور سيت ثانك يو يو ار هير فور ذا فرست تايم ويز اس اوكي ار يو ريدي يس سر انتروديوس يور سيلف تو اول اوف اس ماي نيم از اشرت فاطمه بيسيكلي اي هيل فروم ديستريكت خرمان اوف بلتستان بات اي هاف بين ليفينج سكردو سينس 2004 Uh, till intermediate, I got my education from Skardu. Afterwards, in 2017, I moved to Rawalpindi, where I did my bachelor's in environmental sciences from Fatma Jinnah Women University. Uh, currently, I am pursuing my MPhil again in the same discipline from Fatma Jinnah Women University. I have completed my coursework, and now I am on my research. And the topic on which I am working is uh, assessment of carbon stock. in soil and vegetation of three different land uses at Basho Valley Baltistan uh, as far as my work experience is concerned during my bachelor's i worked as a teacher as part of my community service and then i did internship from uh, pakistan council of scientific and industrial research kardu for 6 weeks uh, as i mentioned i am working on basho valley baltistan so along with my lab work i was able to do internship from Uh, Aga Khan Rural Support Program Head Office Kardu from October to December 2022 under their program Best for Weed. Uh, throughout my educational and work career, I have been a dedicated, task-oriented, and flexible person. And uh, joining the services has been the greatest passion of mine. Uh, I believe that uh, being a part of state machinery, I would be better able to utilize my capabilities and truly manifest my knowledge. towards environmental conservation climate action and sustainable development of the society that's all thank you thank you tell us something about gb what do you know about gilgit baltistan gilgit baltistan covers an area of around 72971 square kilometer and the population is roughly 1.5 million uh, the area is declared a disputed territory under united nation resolution and currently it is administered under pakistan and governed under the gb order of 2018 the area is divided into three administrative divisions gilgit uh, baltistan and diamar which are further divided into uh, 10 districts uh, the area has all the ingredients to become the economic engine of pakistan due to its uh, geopolitical geostrategic and geoeconomic significance uh, as far as its geo uh, strategic and geopolitical significance is concerned uh, the area is bounded by the wakhan corridor on the north Uh, Zinjiang province on the south, uh, Indian illegally occupied Kashmir on the southwest, and uh, Chitral and KPK on the uh, southeast side. Uh, due to its uh, uh, geostrategic importance, the area has caught the attention of uh, great empires since ancient time. Like in 1935, it was took on a lease by British uh, in order to contain the expansion of Soviet Union, and today it is the uh, uh, gateway to the much debated Sea Peak. Uh, it is the geoeconomic hub as well due to its uh, uh, it is the largest cust- uh, custodian of the glaciers outside the polar region uh, providing 75% of water to pakistan uh, second due to confluence of three largest mountain ranges it provides a source for mineral exploration as well third it is hub of tourism due to its diverse landscape beauty uh, where simplicity and hospitality are ingrained in the local way of living uh, moreover the uh, 88% of the area is declared as protected providing a home to major biological diversity uh, apart from that uh, due to its connection with the long standing jammu and kashmir issue uh, the constitutional status of the area is still unclear and uh, socio economic deprivation at various fronts uh, and ecological fragility are the major issues of gilgit baltistan that's all about gilgit baltistan in my limited time thank you knowledge. thank you what is your opinion for the development of gb which sector of economy the government should focus so there are multiple uh, sources of economic engine in gilgit baltistan like i mentioned for the uh, first of all the tourism sector it provides alpine tourism uh, cultural tourism historical tourism religious tourism even health tourism as well uh, second the area is home to major biological diversity so we can attract uh, global funding like green funding towards the conservation of the area like trophy hunting programs are ongoing in gilgit baltistan third due to confluence of the three largest uh, mountain ranges hindu kush himalaya and karakoram the area provides major opportunity of mineral exploration there are industrial uh, minerals like uh, white marble 
uh, to pass uh, aquamarine in multiple other gemstones as well as according to government of pakistan there are 11 uh, potential sites of gold deposits in gilgit baltistan so these are the major areas moreover we can work uh, to, uh, uh, towards the medicinal plants which are grown in the alpine valleys of gilgit baltistan the hydal potential as well we can work on the hydal potential of gilgit baltistan because according to a norwegian survey there are around uh, 50000 megawatt potential of hydal energy in gilgit baltistan along with fulfilling the needs of pakistan which is uh, just 25000 megawatt we can earn economy by selling hydal potential to the areas the neighboring countries as well welcome to csp's academy for css pms preparation css pms tehreeri imtihan ke tamam mazamin ki online aur on campus taiyari ke sath sath subject selection assignment checking class test mock exam इंडिविजुअल टीचर डिस्कशन और फीडबैक सेशन का इनका किया जाएगा इसके अलावा एफ पी एस सी की तजवीज करदा बुक्स से बने मैरी नोट और सी एस पी पब्लिशर की बेहतरीन बुक्स मुहैया की जाएंगी रजिस्टर नाउ एट जीरो थ्री वन सिक्स फाइव सेवन जीरो वन फाइव नाइन थ्री हाउ यू सी दी रोल ऑफ सोशल मीडिया इन पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान सर ड्यू टू सोशल मीडिया वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग ग्रेटर पॉपुलिज्म इन पाकिस्तान uh it is uh, although social media is not uh, regulated so we are aware of the facts that uh, what is going on in real politics like in recent we saw uh, political polarization the economic situation and uh, the rise of ttp and other issues which are on the rise we can get information from the social media and uh, like we saw the, the pemra been certain channels recently but those information was available on social media so it is a source of transparent information regarding political uh, information but uh, it leads to some uh, political polarization in the country it, it is misused you are coming from mountains yes, what is the length of this uh, himalayan mountain range sir i am sorry i need to how many this. countries are being are part of this uh, himalayan mountain uh, range sir uh, if you allow me to guess i think china india Pakistan, Nepal. I can recall the four countries. Okay, or we see. Okay, sir. I will look into it. Thank you. Apple. You have studied environmental sciences. Yes, Pakistan had participated in Geneva conference. Can you tell me what were the four R framework? After the floods of twenty twenty two. Uh, the government assessed the changes uh, what uh, sort of uh, destruction the floods has caused and they came up with a 4r f framework 4r framework that is basically resilient recovery reconstruction and rehabilitation and for that we need 16 billion uh, us dollars and uh, pakistan co hosted a seminar with united nations and we were able to grab around 10 billion for this 4r framework and how many pledges have come Um, were they all pledges loans what was the nature of the money what was the nature of the pledges made were they loans were they grants ma'am some were grants and some were loans i am unable to recall the exact figures but some were grants and some were loans okay. and united nation have collected 30% of the, that uh, pledges which pakistan made later that was separate which they the, the un and pakistan together hosted a conference on climate of that resilient pakistan that was different and the united nation has him uh, its own pledge and united nation has gathered 30% till now of that what was the outcome of cop 27 uh, ma'am uh, cop 27 basically revolved around uh, adaptation mitigation finance and collaboration uh, for the first time the pavilion was uh, uh, dedicated to the youth and children because these are the future second uh, there was uh, the loss and damage fund which was to be provided to the vulnerable 20 vulnerable 20 are those countries which have lost around 535 billion since 2000 owing to the threats of climate change so that was a major outcome third united nation came up with a 3 trillion uh, pledge to spend lot on that on re- renewable energy sources uh, united states also announced a uh, 369 billion uh, to uh, spend in renewable energy sources Uh, moreover the adaptation fund is the loss and damage fund was there uh, and there was also focus on the peat land conservation because peat land uh, uh, re- uh, releases around uh, 2 to 3% of world global emissions so these were some major outcomes cop 
Join CSPs, where we believe that your dreams are our mission. So let us be your partners in this transformative journey as we equip you with knowledge, confidence and resilience required to emerge as CSS stoppers. Contact us on our given WhatsApp number 0316-570-1593 or visit our website www.csps.com.pk You read Raja Ghid by Banu Kutsiya. Yes, ma'am. What did you like about Raja Ghid? Uh, ma'am, uh, uh, I like the novel a bit, but there are some uh, controversies which is in, our, in my mind regarding this novel. Uh, the idea of halal and haram risk and halal and haram acts, how they penetrate deep through generations, leading to mutations. That's the idea which I like in this. Uh, but uh, Banu Kitsia has uh, cited the example of vultures to explain this. Uh, she has used the word Diwanji. Vultures are feeding on uh, haram risk are the dead carcasses and it's leading to uh, Diwanji in vultures. Likewise, when humans uh, uh, act illegally, immorally, uh, are uh, some haram uh, risk or haram act, then it is leading to mutations in the genes of human beings. That's right. Uh, we I will take two to three minutes to explain my stance. Uh, Ma'am, uh, that's fact that vultures feed on dead carcasses, but uh, being a Muslim, we believe in theory of spatial creation. Vultures are doing what they are directed by Allah Almighty. Uh, being an environmentalist, uh, I will say vultures are environmental scavengers. By feeding on dead carcasses, they are cleaning the environment. And back in 2013, uh, when there was a decline in vulture population, there was a abrupt change in social, economic, and cultural living of a specific community, the Parsi community. They perform dakhma in which they uh, hang the dead on the tower of silence. The vultures feed on the dead, later the bones are collected and buried. Uh, but when the vultures were uh, on a decline, uh, as, uh, South Asian regions were involved in using diclofenac, an anti-inflammatory drug. And when the cattle died and vultures feed on that, it led to renal failure in vultures. So their po population was declined and they made to the red list of IUCN. So we saw then the party commu Parsi community was forced to move to uh, burying their dead. So we see that if we just stop feeding on that murdar ghost, there is an abrupt change in socio-economic and culture of a whole community. So vultures are uh, playing their role. Uh, they lack the cognitive capacity which we humans have. So I slightly disagree with that citation. I may be wrong, but... No, uh, I, I, I totally agree with you, but she was not talking about the actual vulture. She was talking about the social vultures. Okay, I stand corrected. I may have interpreted that wrong. No, thank you so much, Doctor. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, can you tell what is constitution and why constitution is important and what is what sort of significance it lies in? Her constitution uh, is basically a uh, law which is uh, made and uh, the whole country runs after uh, seeing the constitution. We need to look in the constitution before formulating any policy, any law, any changes we need to make in the country yes. that is based on the constitution. Give your career a boost with CSS PMS preparation from Civil Services Preparatory School. Join CSS PMS for on-campus and online classes. Join us for your bright future. Civil Services Preparatory School, Jitan Markaz, Islamabad. Register now at 0316-570-1593. Okay, uh, what is good governance? And is there any relations between good governance and rule of law? Sir, uh, the features of good governance is accountability, transparency, responsibility, and rule of law. Rule of law is one of the features of good governance. What is rule of law? Rule of law means we obey the constitution, we obey the law, the moral, the religious laws are the legal laws which exist in any country. What are the con uh, connotations attached with rule of law? Sir, I need to look into this. Okay. <coughs> what is line of control? Sir, a line of control is the boundary between India and Pakistan. Uh, it is uh, the boundary which separates uh, two disputed territories in India and Pakistan. What is the difference between line of control and working boundary? Uh, working boundary is the one where one side of the boundary, is, uh, the land is internationally accepted and the other side is a disputed territory, while LOC, both sides are a disputed territory. Cabinet Mission Plan came to subcontinent in 1946. What was the reaction of Indian National Congress toward this plan? Sir, I need to look into this. I need to revise uh, the Pakistan. Okay. What, what is Dominion State? I need 
to look into this. I'm sorry. When Pakistan became republic? 1956. Okay. The Before that, what, what was the uh, status of Pakistan? Sir, uh, From Pakistan, 1947 to 56. Sir, uh, Pakistan had the status of a country, a state, which was following the government of India in 1935. Okay. When first constitution of Pakistan abrogated? Sir, 1956. 1956 it was, abrogated? It was made in 1956 and abrogated in 1958, I guess. And what was the major change in political system uh, under the 56 constitution and 62 constitution? Sir, there was uh, the basic democracies in 1962. Uh, you are asking about 1962? Yes. Uh, that was the basic democracies and that was the time of IU. Before that, uh, the constitution was made by elected government. Later, it was made by uh, General IU. Thank you. Let's conclude this formal interview. Let's have an informal discussion. Aap apne self -assessment kare, kaha rakte aap? Where you will place yourself ek se das ke scale mein. Four. Hmm? Sir, actually I prepared my option as well or jo current affair, the, the current affair parts. So they asked me about uh, some other subject like governance, public policy. This is the commission. community service, then you can tell you or environmental sciences, you can books, you can tell so you be very careful. जब लिखे हैं वो आपको favorite personalities पे बैठा बताएंगे. You are, mashallah, you are good. मेरे हिसाब से you are very good. Introduction is fine, बस one pager, एक मिनट में deliver करें. You have got a fine personality, communication skill आपके ठीक है, both language, body language, posture, you are fine. ठीक है, intelligent है, confidence है, आप stable है, कंपो Composed है. knowledge level आपका satisfactory है भी डॉक्टर तो कुछ observation देंगे तो मेरा ख्याल में बस satisfactory है but you need to maintain it अखबार okay. पढ़ो कब interview 29th आज चार दिन है तो भाई अखबार पिछले एक महीने की उसकी मोटी मोटी खबरें थी को पाकिस्तान का political system कैसा चल रहा है ठीक है इंडो चाहे इंडो पाकिस्तान चाइना पाकिस्तान Wakhan, Central Asia, CPEG, but there are issues that you have to update. Okay. You are good, you are in a state of preparedness. Thank you are a winning house, Mary Sapsit, please. Ishad Fatma, you have a good personality. It's a very nicely, the color is dress, uh, gold. Uh, but you should iron your dress when you go. Because if you don't iron it, gives a shoddy look to you. Impression kharaab hota hai. Uh, favorite personalities aap ne likhi hai Ahadi Khala wale se aur apni baalda. Thik hai. Bita, kyun poochte hum ki aapki favorite personality kya hai? Because we want to understand you. And we want to understand if your mind is mature enough to take the responsibility of the statecraft. You have to have a more mature brain. We all love our mothers. We all love our fathers. But when you write your mother, she might be a great lady, but none of us knows. So none of us is going to ask. But we will prejudge you. We will prejudge you that you have not grown out of your uh, childhood. Your mind is not mature enough to think beyond. So it goes against you. When you form fill your form, you have written it. But in terms of their personality, they can ask questions on them. They can ask questions on them. They can ask questions on them. उनके जो जिस तरह सलमान रुश्दी ने उनपे किताब लिख दी उसपे सवाल आ सकता है पता नहीं आपने पढ़ी है उसकी किताबें या नहीं तो आप उनका जवाब नहीं दे सकेंगे 
بہتر ہے کہ ایسی شخصیت لو جس کو آپ نے صحیح پڑھا ہو اور جو نیوٹرل ہو جو سب کو پتا ہو ٹھیک ہے آج چڑھاوا علیہ وسلم ون کین انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ یو آر میسیجنگ دیٹ یو آر ریلیجسلی انکلائن بٹ دین کوشچنس آن ریلیجن ول کم دیٹ مائٹ بی ڈیفیکلٹ فار یو ٹو آنسر سو وٹ ایور یو چوز پلیز ہیو فل انفارمیشن آن دیٹ اینڈ بی ایبل ٹو ڈیفینڈ اٹ سیم گوز فار دا بکس مطلب ایز اے انوائرمنٹلس اٹس گڈ دیٹ یو وو بٹ ان بٹ بانو کتسیا واز ناٹ این انوائرمنٹلسٹ شی واز مور آئی ووڈ سی آف اے سوشیولوجسٹ اور اے سوشل کرٹیک شی واز ڈوئنگ شی واز ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کرپشن شی واز ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ہاؤ دا سسٹم آف دا سوسائٹی از کرپٹیڈ بائی دا راجا گدس سو انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ آلسو انڈرسٹینڈ وتھ دا رائٹر ہیز سو وٹ ایور بک یو رائٹ تھنک اباؤٹ دیٹ بک ریڈ اٹ اگین اف پاسبل فریش اس پہ گزرو تاکہ آپ کو آئیڈیاز آئیں گے اس پہ سوالات آئیں گے تو میں کیا جواب دوں گی ادر دین ماشاء اللہ یو فائن یو آر ویننگ ہارس بٹ یو کین ڈو بیٹر بیکاز گلگت بلتستان میں مقابلہ بہت زیادہ ہے سو یو ہیو دا اسپیس ٹو امپروو ورک ہارڈ ان شاء اللہ چار دن ہے کچھ کتابیں مطلب اخبار پڑھیں اور جو آپ نے یہاں لکھا ہے اس کے اوپر ریہرسل کریں اور جیسے ابھی ہولی پروفٹ کے اوپر ہے نا تو بہت سارے جو ویسٹرن ہسٹورینس ہیں بہت سارے انہوں نے اعتراضات بھی ان کی لائف پہ ہم تو نہیں بینگ اے مسلم نہیں ان کو سن سکتے لیکن آپ سے کوئی کوشچن کر سکتا ہے کہ آپ اس کو جسٹیفائی کریں کیونکہ آپ کی فیوریٹ پرسنالٹیز میں سے ہیں وہ ان کی وار کی اسٹریٹجیز کے اوپر تو وہ بہت سوچ سمجھ سے اس کو رکھیے گا تاکہ جج کر سکے دوسرا یو آنسر ویری ویل بٹ پاکستان اسٹڈی اس اے کمپلسری سبجیکٹ وہ ایریا تھوڑا سا آپ کا گرے ہے بس اٹس اے مائنر باقی آپ نے آنسرس بہت اچھے آنسر کیے ہیں ٹھیک ہے نا بٹ یو آر پریپیئر فار دیٹ بیسٹ آف لک تھینک یو تھینک یو کیپ اٹ اپ